the universe and everything. As you know, I have observed to the people on this planet they tend to see that the universe exists in books rather than the fact that books exist in the universe. Many policyholders, lawmakers and religious people follow this concept. The truth of the matter of a fact is that God does not exist, and people disconnect from the light consciousness, source of their own consciousness, by artificial constructs of laws and policy, to dominate rather than to prevent chaos. There is no such thing as a god and so on and people need to wake up to this, that they have been created by a team of scientists and artists from space, in other words a diverse group of extraterrestrials known as the Elohim, not from one star system alone but from many locations within the galaxy. People need to observe and analyze the missing and unexplainable relationships that exist in Darwinism such as questioning that two organisms on opposing branches far apart, have similar attributes when the original parent of the organisms do not carry the genes for the observable characteristics, where they are supposed to be inheritance from the parent and not opposite ends of the evolutionary tree. This blatantly shows that splicing was involved. Why? Well first of all my life on this planet has been affected by this and many others where people affect people's lives and happiness to try and conform them to this phony belief, to the point I have received abuse and violence. This belief has affected the laws and policy of things on this planet and the way people problem solve without thinking, too quick to point to a book for the answers rather than a computer that actually thinks rather than recalling log data if they choose to be lazy and run on automatic. People need to connect to the source, which is their true consciousness and it isn't God, and learn to think. When you have connected to the source of true consciousness you sense what is right from wrong. You are capable of feeling and extracting ideas and methods of thinking, to think out of the box. This source of consciousness has its foundations in love, empathy, understanding and compassion. It is the basis of natural law, and not of artificial law inflicted to control people on this planet, enslaving them to be exploited in this animal farm of the 1% elites, you know this, but keep this from you. Sensuality is a way of becoming aware of things, awakening your senses and seeing yourself and the relationship with the universe through to infinity. Yes people have the choice to believe in supernatural deity, but is a mere form of mind control to insert fear onto you to disallow you from awakening to reality through sensuality, even in forcing one to wear clothes to dumb up the sense of touch and our environment in the false proclamation of decency rather than to keep warm. I am standing up for myself and others who know there is no such thing called God, since those people who believe in a deity called God often violently attack people who don't and taunt them into fear by say they would be condemned with death in eternity of burning in some sort of hell, or indirectly through the law and order policy system of this planet on what is artificially considered right and wrong. You might be thinking I am talking a load of bull and nonsense, here is something that would make you ponder and think. Why is it that when you go to court, you swear on the Bible when you think the government and the law bureaucrats are independent from the church, and why your first name is called your Christian name? The truth is you are I am as the Elo are named Yahweh went on repeatedly hoping the penny would drop. The truth of the fact is, being alive on this planet is a living hell in itself due to this control and enforcement and lack of consciousness, where people believe the universe exists in the writings of books be it religious or scientific. Understanding that light can travel faster than itself does make you think a lot deeper, rather than relying hopelessly and saying because the book says so. Books are to be used as references and do provide guides and points. It does not mean that they explain life, the universe and everything, and an understanding needs to be developed, the need to think on their own and understanding that it is one's opinion and thought expressed in text, thus the Bible, Torah, Quran and other books is not the word of God but of people. The issues of the matter is that many of the wars and means of controlling people as cattle, law order and the system is based on this, 
concept where people are forced to think in the box rather than out of the box, and utilizing their love, empathy, compassion and understanding. As a friend I have called Bionic Dance, who often mentions to think and not run on automatic. I let you know that the universe itself did not form from the Big Bang, it is continuous and cyclic, like any life cycle, recycling itself. Since the so-called expert scientists say that it is expanding into nothingness, the truth is that concept violates the fundamental observations of reality, which possibly contributes to the wasteful attitude of the society of this planet contributing to the buy and throw away ideals of capitalism, with hardly and very little ability of reuse, thus cluttering the environment with harmful wastes that add to the cycles of life on this planet destroying ecosystems that had been to correlate and function in a self-sustaining system of life on this planet. People mention that the space and space between planets, stars, asteroids and objects in space is a vacuum, and contains nothing. The truth is that a vacuum is never a true vacuum containing nothing, even if you create an artificial vacuum to simulate the vacuum of space, it isn't truly a vacuum, when you in your personal atmospheric suit also known as a space suit exist in the vacuum. When you turn on your flashlight in the vacuum, photons are released in the vacuum of space, not only that there would always be subatomic particles moving about particularly that of the lower bosons, excluding photons if you turn off your flashlight. Also one fundamental concept, people very easily dismiss light as being energy only when the matter of the fact it truly possesses mass by its observed gravitational properties. Energy is the vibration of stuff, particles and things. Energy cannot exist without stuff, and stuff cannot exist without energy, as there is the need of continuous spin, which can easily be represented as a swastika. So when the Viril Society says that the swastika represents the energy of the Black Sun, they fail to understand that the energy cannot exist without the vibration of smaller Black Suns and so on, which can be represented by a fractal if interconnecting swastikas. Atoms are continuously absorbing and releasing photons, and are obvious when processing electrons through a medium such as a filament, in a light bulb which released the part of themselves as photons. Photons themselves are the smallest known bosons that exist and not imaginary or virtual. Photons themselves have their own gravity and thus when they have their own gravity they have their own minute mass and zero point an internal vacuum or many black holes in their epicenters. Because they have their own mass as observed by having their own gravity, they themselves are made up with smaller particles which would relate somewhere in the infinitely large. No one knows for sure what a universe is. But it is obvious that the universe itself is a brain of infinity, this immense fractal of existence which extends through to the infinitely large and the infinitely small, and not only that but as well extending through the three-dimensional space of a selected brain of infinity known as the universe as it is observed. I found it easier to stipulate the most simplest structure brain of infinity as the photon, which could relate to the building blocks of all matter in this universe brain. It provides the ability to cut through the space-time continuum enabling one to transport themselves into the unseen spectrum of space in the realm of quantum physics, where photons themselves are easily quantumly entangled, connecting everything in the universe at a single point that is one. Since light is the source of this observable universe brain that is observed, an insignificant speck of infinity, so in the design of consciousness, or the existence of consciousness, and its true source is love, thus love can be considered and related to love. Light consciousness is the connection of source, its vibration and spin frequencies of the emotion of love. You may ask me for evidence to prove this. Well looking at the symbol of infinity, the Raelian symbol, the swastika in the hexagram can be a key to unlock the answers to solve this problem. DNA is structured in a double helix, and its spin is exactly that of the symbol which maps the magnetic field of planets, stars, atoms and possibly photons. 
As is you know in known science love is expressed by a chemical reaction, and DNA is receptible to photons, much like the way plants use photosynthesis. In fact photosynthesis is the key of defining what a photon is and why I would call the universe a photon and a photon a universe. The spectrum of light correlates to the frequencies in which life had been constructed on as well as then non-created in organic molecules, atoms which life depends on. I say once again, when I mention something and you say it's not in a book, I respond that books cannot contain the universe but the universe can contain many books. Spiritually is essential, not religion. Religion leans too much on focusing the majority at a certain mindset of a particular truth which often changes the truth into a lie. Spirituality is the science of consciousness, it is the thing that evolves in oneself, and the more you connect your consciousness with the source which is like consciousness, which is love, empathy, compassion, tenderness. The source of creation is not God and neither is the universe nor the infinite, the universe itself is never created nor destroyed, as it is continuously recycling itself, and bundled with an infinite number of universe, extending through the planes of infinity, as well extending through the infinitely large and infinitely small, like tesseract moving fractals. I don't know how simpler I can get in explaining this. It is your choice to believe in God and bash the shit out of others literally and figuratively, but in the end your children would blame you for your actions and the mess you left them to clean up, if there is a future for them.